hey guys so welcome back to my another video and this is going to be a 10th video for uh, building the applications on the uh, spring boot on back end and uh, angular on the front end as you guys following my videos so on this videos what we're gonna do is we're gonna create this form we're gonna create this form as a reactive form okay so this is the forms what we have we has also date picker it has the uh, select box and this was using the material design we created this on the previous videos if you guys are interested or if you guys are just watching my videos please to watch that video to create this so now let's go ahead and create make that as a reactive form modules okay so to do that uh, that was in, in a talks add and and this was the html css was written there so i will go directly here and i will add here the the modules which i want okay so i will just click it enter so i will add a form let's add a reactive form modules okay reactive form modules and i will import it and i will export it from my component so my app component will get that too okay so i added the uh, the reactive form modules so now it's refreshing okay so now let me go to my add component that html file here okay now it's complaining because uh, now i need to add a couple of more things about the, what are the forms are for it's a reactive forms or not stuff like that so i will add here the form group so on a form group now I need to provide the name of it. So this is I will provide as a task form Okay, so I need to create what is the task form is so I will go in my add component and I will create a task form as a form group for now form group Okay, so this is what I'm gonna going to create and this is uh, Now it's complaining. Of course, I haven't imported this from the angular form. So that's why it's complaining So now let's see if I see any error or not here Okay, now it's refreshing the page Okay, so okay now we still see a bunch of error here as you guys can see so it says that the form group uh, is missing the instance of it so basically what we need to do is we need to go in our uh, ts form on add component and we need to create our the uh, form group which is a talk form group is here but we need to create it here and inside it okay so whenever it's initializing at first time then we need to create our form modules with the form builder so what's a form builder it will helps to create a form group and form control so we need to provide here the form builder we need to get using a dependency injection form builder so once we have this so now we can create from this form builder we can create a form group so in a form group is basically it will take the object here with the with the key and a value pair so basically it's a title we want and validators just make this validators as a required field okay so this is a title so we need a due date type and description so we create something called due date and another one is type and this is, should be a description okay so this is my talks here which i created here which is good so far so now if i go it here so now we will not see any issue here if i refresh it then yep we will not see any issue everything is binding with it it's not ex exactly binding with it because we didn't provide a form control name we should provide a form control name here as well so now I will go here and I will provide something called the form control name on our input field right here Okay, so it's, we, I need to create provide a form Control name and in the form control name. Let me provide here as a title So I will copy this and let me try to put it on the option Not in the option, but in select as well. So it should, this should be a type Okay, the type is also ready. Now this should be a date picker. For date picker, we will put provide in the input field here, and this is going to be due date, right? And same exact thing for a description. For a description, we will put it here in a text area. So this should be a description in here. Okay, so the button is submit is type is submit which is good So every time whenever it's submit then we will call here the submit functions and this will create a 
add this will add a task okay so we don't have created this function yet we haven't so now let me go and create that function here a task so now let me print what's going to print whenever I submit so how we can get the value is using a this dot task form dot value so we can get a value in a task form here so now let's see how it looks like in our console okay so now I will pick a title here type uh, type is okay type doesn't even work we need to fix a type and of course the description if I submit let's see what happened now nothing because we need to provide I think the type so fit or did I save everything perfectly fine or not so let me try to save everything okay it's loading again so let's see of course we need to also get a type uh, but uh, we need to fix that the type part okay now we get a title we did we also get a due date we get a title but we didn't get the type so we need to get a what type of it is so let's fix the type okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna create one service because we are using this type for our show data as well whenever we're trying to update it we need to get that data so for that one i will go in service and in service i will create a custom service here okay so basically uh, this is going to be get types uh, get type type option let me do get type options okay so now here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna return the array okay i'm gonna return the array of the object called something called done okay so this is the done what i want and i want uh, the three of it i mean we should get this data from the, our uh, api as well but we don't have like this kind that type like a type tables uh, to store it or type table to store it we didn't create we just create a tox table so for just to uh, for this uh, project i'll just create it here my data okay and and here uh, i i'll just specify that this will be the i array of i the tox type option okay i'll create something like i something like this and this is not even created yet so i'll go in interface and i will create that interface for that so interface interface and i will create that i and this should be what it should be a string i believe no not string sorry it should be a type as a string and that's all and i will i'll export that here and once i export now i can be able to import it right and i import it on the top there so this is the api or kind of like a function which i could able to call it so now if i go in add which is here is top where is my add component let me go to my add component here this is the add component ts file and i will import that the service and service is called the talk service talk service and the talk service and on the talk service now let me grab that data so whenever it's loading so on a talks let me uh, grab that data from talk service okay so it's called the talk service dot get type option and let me assign this to something called type options as well okay so now now we don't know what's a type option so we're going to create here the type options okay and this should be we know what is going to be it's going to be array of uh, we know that i type i talks type option and this should be empty area and we're going to assign it from here so we know this is going to be type option so now what we're going to do an html here we're going to loop it up okay in here we're just going to loop this guy so how we can loop it is on option here we can use the ng4 ng4 let and this is going to be type of what type of type option and now we will receive here the uh, type option okay type option or oh, basically we, we, we shouldn't say type option because type option has a type so we should do type by type so instead of do just to n right and and the type okay so whenever it's been selected now we need to also assign in a value so we can say a value so on a value how we can assign it is a 
using the something called uh, n dot type because this is the what is been selecting if there is only one I mean they don't have any uh, description stuff but so we just select this now so now let's test this so I will add this test and here is done to do and pending I'll do pending and now it is if I submit then here is a data description due date title and type and guess what this is the exact data what we needed to post it in our API if you guys remember before uh, we, we, we have a data that is uh, getting from the API I will show you the data here uh, let me go to the local host on on 8080 port right and this was the API right this was the api and this has an id we don't need to provide id title type due date and description this is exact data what is needed here so we don't have to worry about to uh, changing this data at all so here right here we just call the service but we don't have that service yet so now let me create that post service here i'll copy this i will put it here and instead of get do a post that's it it's pretty straightforward uh, because it's exact same data and but here now what we need is we need the the data we need the data uh, which is going to be post and if I go in my interface I will just check this is exact data what we need but we don't need an ID right we don't even need the need ID to, to to put it so what we can do is maybe we can make this as optional for ITAX okay so what we can do now here is we can create the data here we need the data that is need to be post and this is to be a task data and here we say I need a I task okay so here in the post we can provide here in a data here task so it's going to post and it's going to respond it and it's going to respond it uh, it whenever it's posted it's only only give you or not array but only the only one data that is posting not array but only the one data is uh, returning so this is the services which is which will do a post request right so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use that to here so we're gonna call that service from doc service and now we're gonna post it okay so in a post now is required data and this is exact data what it needed and this data is a match with our uh, I talks and it will post it and whenever it's posted uh, is successful then we will get the value in subscription right in subscribe so we will get the value here so let's see that we get the value here so what happened if, it, if there is an error then we can get a, take a ha error handler here as well of course we can create the another like dialogue here to show up right the error but we're not gonna worry about to show in this tutorial we're just gonna directly focusing on the main part of it so I'll just do console log error of this one okay so now let's try to post it and see that API is working or not so I'll just do test I'll just do type is to do and the date and submit so once I do submit and it's once I do click on submit okay it's, it looks like okay it's calling the API I click twice so it called the API and its post is successful looks like the post is successful and it's calling the API here the post 200 request and it's posting it it's a data is ID and its ID is 10 and 11 so now if I go here then we will see that 10 and 11 here of course but we I give a same exact name as test let me give something here so something called my key doesn't even matter whatever is here and let me give this as January uh, not January 1st 2021 maybe give something of February something like that and submit and once I submit if I go in here it shows in the first here right February 18 21 2021 to do is a to do is a type which we show it here of course when I need to put this on this side but anyway and as I make it is here and another thing is what we need is whenever we submit let me let me do some verification as well now I could able to submit or oh, it doesn't oh yeah I could able to submit of course and it's posting or uh, empty which we don't want to post an empty we want to uh, disable this so to disable to disable this is pretty straightforward because all fields is required and what we can say is on our talks on add on HTML field and there's a button here so here is a on whenever disable it when our form name what is our form name here 
which is called the tox form, right? That was the name. So tox form dot invalid, right? If it's invalid, I think I need to do is invalid here. Maybe not. So I think this is good. So now, of course, this will be disabled at this time. We're kind of able to submit it. And and of course, of course, this need to be validated on the on a server side as well. Otherwise, if you pose like empty things, then it will work. But you need to validate it on server side as well. But I haven't validated on server side yet. We can use uh, on server side, we can use a, something called valid, right? Or we can do not null. We can do a not null on our column. So now it looks like it's working. If I submit, then it will post it here somewhere, right? It's posting a lot of things here. It's posting it, but it doesn't go to my home page. So whenever the is successful, I will send this to my home page. So how I can send this to home page is go to the TypeScript here, and I will add another dependencies here called router. Using the router, I could able to send it, right? So router is coming from Angular router. So whenever it's successful, then I will just send out, okay, router, that, there is something called navigate the URA by the url and we can navigate and we'll tell them to go to home page okay and save it and once i save it now whenever i save it here so now it, it will go to the so this is a, the app 100 100 okay this is the app and if i go it here i put a title here call uh, whatever it doesn't matter pending and due date, let me pick the due date is uh, March 1 and I'll put here something and submit. Now it will go and sh put it right here. It will add it on tables, right? If I refresh it, now it's a bunch of here. And I can see that ASD, which is recently I added, is coming on the top here. And this is what I added on the top, right? So what we're gonna do in the next video is we're gonna click it on this one and we will pop up the dialog. And what we're gonna do on that dialog is we're gonna do make an edit and we're gonna put a delete functionality on that one. Okay, so that's all for this video. I hope you guys learned something new and I hope, yep, if you guys like it and please do subscribe my channel. Thank you very much guys. Bye for now.